Now in physics, we've mostly been using tablet capture to make our videos. That's because we've been doing pretty theoretical stuff, and it's mostly equations and the like, which work very well with tablet capture. However, sometimes you're going to need to do live action footage. Uh, let's say you're doing an interview with somebody, or you're trying to demonstrate an experiment, or do some field work or something like that. Now this can be done with an SLR camera, a specialist camera, or just with a smartphone. At the moment I'm using the SLR camera in my office at Mount Stromlo. One way to record live action footage is with an SLR camera like this one on a tripod. Another way is to use a smartphone, either on a little tiny tripod like this, or the same sort of tripod that the SLR camera is on. The advantage of an SLR camera is the shallow depth of field and the relatively high image quality. To make it work properly, you should probably have an external light source in front. At the moment, I'm just using the natural lighting in my office, so it isn't ideal, but there's almost no end to how, what you can do to get the best possible video quality. Modern smartphone cameras are actually very good, but they do have a much deeper depth of field, generally speaking, and they uh, will cover more of the background and give a rather stranger perspective. Somewhat surprisingly, the trickiest thing about getting video right is actually not the video, it's the sound. You can use the built-in microphone on your camera, as we're doing now, or you can use a microphone like this lapel one I've got on here, which plugs into the smartphone and uh, is recorded separately and then combined afterwards, which gives us a, which is what I'm using now. So here we are using the local smartphone microphone, and here we are using the camera microphone. Your mileage may differ. One of the biggest problems with recording outside is wind noise. So it's a pretty calm day here today, but there's a little bit of wind coming through, and you can hear the difference if I'm using the microphone built into the camera, as opposed to the microphone recorded on my phone from the Lavalier microphone. This, of course, has the benefit that I can still talk while going further away. Here's what it sounds like when I'm close in on the camera microphone, and here's what it sounds like close in on the phone microphone. Now from this distance, here's the camera microphone, and here's the phone microphone. And even further away, listen to the camera microphone, and the phone microphone. Which camera you use also makes a difference to the image quality. This is a view with my smartphone camera, whereas this is a view with my SLR camera. I think the difference is quite obvious.